Hey guys, if you're following me on social media you've probably already heard by now but this November I will be heading to Okinawa in Japan to film a series on the origins of karate. I'll be teaming up with my friend James Pankowitz who runs the Bujin TV which I'll leave a link to in the description. That is a streaming service which uh, provides all kinds of martial art content, very very high quality stuff. I, I highly recommend checking it out. And so the two of us are going to take a look at the Chinese origins of Okinawan martial arts. I know this is something that's been you know quite well documented, styles like Goju Ryu, Uechi Ryu, Shorin Ryu, as well as Kabudo weapons arts. Um, there's been a lot of research and a lot of work done, um, for example by pe people like Patrick McCarthy who I'm going to be interviewing in this series as well. Um, but I think the difference is that generally with the research into Okinawan martial arts what tends to happen is it's primarily practitioners of the Okinawan styles that go and look at Chinese arts and try and see what like commonalities and, and you know origins they can they can get from that. Um, whereas I think to do this the other way around me being a Chinese martial artist looking at the Okinawan arts will give a very very different perspective um, and quite a fresh look on you know the the commonalities the origins that sort of stuff one thing that i'm also planning to do with this trip is to take a look at some of the less you know lesser acknowledged uh, martial arts of okinawa things that you don't tend to really see in english language media very much such as tegumi which is okinawan wrestling often called okinawan sumo um, also the art of kishimodo d which is an art that I have heard has preserved a lot of the older Okinawan martial methods from before things were standardized and kind of Japaneseified in World War II. Um, so you see a lot of the older kind of, I, I guess you could say, purer methods um, of Okinawan arts with styles like that. And a very rare style called Ko Kojo Ryu, um, which I don't know too much about, but I have been told that this is a very, very old art and it's tied to the original uh, Chinese family which established themselves in Okinawa in sort of I think it was like the 14th century um, so I'll be, I'll be looking into that quite a lot and seeing what they're practicing so with all of that in mind I want to share with you kind of my vision for this series I want to make this the biggest and best one that I've done yet um, I'm going to be hiring a professional filmmaker I'm going to be upgrading uh, filming equipment. I'll have a friend helping me film, uh, Joel from Shaolin Shiniba that you know. He'll be helping me film and I'm going to try and make this like professional documentary quality. Um, you know, I, I really feel like the thing that's kind of holding back traditional martial arts from getting the exposure they deserve is, you know, production quality. And so I'm aiming to give myself a budget of around $10,000 to do this trip, so quite a lot more than I've, I've spent on previous ones. But I'm hoping that this is really going to do it justice, this is really going to get the exposure for the traditional arts and, and create something that's sort of, you know, National Geographic or Netflix kind of level of quality. And so with all of that in mind, I would really, really like to ask you guys for your help. I know that you've always supported this channel and everything that we've achieved up to now is because of all of you and your support, whether it's, you know, watching the videos, joining the Patreon, um, you know, buying stuff from the store, my online courses, those of you that are training Taiji Mantis with me in private lessons, all of you have helped keep this channel running and take it to where it is so far. And, you know, as I've said, uh, I want to raise ten thousand uh, dollars budget um, for this trip so that I can really really do it justice and take take the channel and take um, you know my mission of documenting Chinese martial arts and, and all my traditional martial arts in an authentic and genuine way you know without all of the kind of sensationalist clickbait and, and all that kind of stuff and so I would really really appreciate it if you guys are able to purchase something from my store monkeyofferspeach.com to uh, join my Patreon um, to purchase one of my online courses or you know even if, if you'd like you, you're welcome to just you know straight up send a donation to my PayPal I'll put all of these links in the description below um, I was thinking about doing like a GoFundMe for this but honestly I'm not really too keen on 
the concept because I don't really like just asking for money kind of without giving anything back. I would prefer to just, uh, you know, do it this way to try and raise the funds with the help of you guys, but also to ensure that you're getting something out of it. And so if you are able to help, I really, really appreciate if you are able to do one of the things that I just mentioned. And I understand that for some of you, you know, maybe you're not in a financial position to do that. At least, you know, just watch the videos. Don't skip the adverts. Uh, you know, recommend them to your friends. Just help the channel to get more exposure. That's probably one of the best things you can do as well because all of that counts towards this $10,000 that I'm trying to raise for this series. And one other thing I'll say is if you want to keep up to date with how things are going um, towards this trip, as well as kind of lots of other information, um, I'm regularly sending out newsletters. I'll also put a link to that in the description below, um, sharing my thoughts, sharing kind of different things on martial arts, as well as updates on what's going on with the channel. So I'd really appreciate if you sign up to that. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Appreciate all of you so much. As I said, you know, and I keep saying, everything we've done with this channel is all because of you guys. Um, couldn't do it without you, so thank you.